Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file. They didn't actually ask for help, but this would not, you know, he evidently did it with rectangles or I don't know how he drew it. So I'm just going to redraw one real quick and try to, I'm going to try to slow down because it's a little bit, um, a lot to think about. So I'm going to hold down the control button and make a square and I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. I am going to control D and make a duplicate and I'm going to rotate at 45 degrees. That gives us this inner shape. Then I'm going to take both of them and hit the plus key on the keyboard and I'm going to move it all the way. I'm going to change my nudge factor and for the one I'm doing it for, let's see how big this is over. So I just need to nudge it like three inches. I changed your duplicate distance to zero, zero, and that's why, so you can do stuff like this. I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna weld them together. And then I'm going to double click on the pen tool and I'm gonna make them three points. And then I'm gonna to go to object, convert object to an outline or outline to an object, left click, right click, and now we have a cuttable shape on in and out. Now, and this one's a little bit different we have to take, and actually, we want this shape of the, uh, you know, it's just got one peak on it. So we want to just take away these shapes and the interior shapes. Now, this is the reason I said it's a little different. You could weld this. Let's see if it'll let us weld it. A lot of times it still won't work. And it did not. So what we're going to do is unweld it. We're going to take the shape tool and select both those, go up to windows, dockers, join curves. And I'm going to show you what it's going to do in just a second. It has taken those shapes and joined them to give us an even pattern. Let's make sure both of them are done. Evidently I didn't click both of them. Whoop. I moved a little bit. So move back. And then, so now you have a good shape and you could probably do this mathematically and because putting P in the center of the page doesn't really do you any good. So let's, let's nudge it back out. Let's make this a three point line or if you use inches or whatever you use. And then let's go to object, convert outline to an object. We're going to left click. And we're going to make this one black just so it's easier to see. And this is part that's going to be rotated around. So this is a little bit different in the way that you could do this mathematically. And this might be this. Let's do it mathematically. Let's see how big this is from that point to that point is 0.83 inches. I don't know how that's going to really help us right now yet, but we'll see. And then let's hit P because one, we're going to have a corner to work with. We're going to move it up to that corner. Now we're going to set our nudge factor on 0.83 and see if it worked. And it didn't. We're too tall. I should have measured from the other side. Uh, but you, this is the way I would do it anyway. We just, this needs to be one line instead of two lines. So you could bring it down and then holding, change your nudge factor 0 0.001, grab one over the other and, and move it till those lines intersect. Then I always kind of test it to see if it'll weld before I go any further and it worked. Well, it semi worked, but it'll work. So now we can take this shape and control D and make a duplicate move your center rotation. So I double click and we're going to, you know, we don't, it's 45 degrees. I'm pretty sure, but we're going to rotate it. So it, you can see it's 44. So we'll make it 45 control D and make a duplicate. We look a little bit off. Wow. Let's, let's back up here. Now see it jumped. So control D and make a duplicate 45 degrees. It's dead on. Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D. Now, what I should have done before I did anything, I should have taken 
this uh, interior part that almost looks like it's gone. Let's tell you what, let's back up here till we can get this shape. And let's, let's hit the plus key on the keyboard. And I've already changed my nudge factor back. So now plus 45 degrees, whoop, I didn't make a duplicate. Control D plus 45, control D. So now you've got this and we can weld this. Now that gives us, well, it didn't weld them all. Um, it should have welded all those points. Maybe I didn't select it all. Let's make sure I select it all and weld it. There we go. I just didn't hit those corners. Now, if we look at our uh, diagram, there is a, between this and this is one of these spaces. So now what we want to do is move this out of the way, put this in the center of the page, and then actually we're going to hit P, put it in the center of the page too, so we'll be a line, and then just move it straight up. Now this one's a little bit tricky because we want, we don't, we want it right there. I was almost there. Change my nudge factor back and let's just move down to where those lines intersect perfectly. Now this is the part I always test with a weld. Let's see if it worked. That way you know you're on and we're on. So back up. Now we can take this shape and control D, move the center rotation of the center. It doesn't look like it is. I always double check it. It is. And I don't, I think this is, we're going to do these. No. Yeah. At 90 degrees. Control D, 180 degrees. Control D. Now you've got the basic shape. Now you could actually weld this all if you think you're finished. And then you have a cuttable surface that's pretty elaborate. Now, all this is, is more the same all the way around. And if you can see that box right there, is that box right there? This little three-sided configuration is right there. So all you have to do now is do it again. And maybe I should have kept a copy of this one again. And you could always make a copy of it by taking the smart fill tool and filling that in and then move it out of the way, left click, right click, make it that three point line. It should be still exactly the same. Go up to object, convert the outline to an object, left click, right click, we'll make it in black and we'll hit P. It should be, well, it's a little off because we smart filled that. So really you wanna make a copy first of this block several times. And if you wanna continue this going, and I might even later at night or tomorrow finish this and keep going. I'm pretty sure you could probably just, let's just try it real quick. This is all welded together so I could hit the plus key in the keyboard. One of my mathematical wizards uh, likes to do rotation. And so this would be a lot easier to rotate. And my nudge factor is probably still set on low. Yep. So we could get this thing pretty close to where we think it needs to be. Well, that's another video. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching. And maybe I'll make another one tomorrow uh, from scratch and make this part. Because all we have to do is uh, mirror it or rotate it again on that same axis. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.